right, well, you don't have to pitch a complete game this today, but uh, you still get the win, so that's got to be very good, especially in a tough conference weekend. Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, anytime I feel like I could go out and give our, t our team a chance to win, uh, that's what I want. Complete game means nothing to me. Uh, if that's what it takes, I'll do it. Uh, today I didn't take that. Uh, defense helped me out a lot, and we scored some runs, which is always helpful. So. Had a couple of struggles in the fifth and the eighth inning. What, what happened there? Uh, fifth inning, I just all of a sudden lost command for a little bit. I walked a guy at four pitches. Uh, then I got a little frustrated. Um, tried to make too good of a pitch. Kid hit. Uh, I think it was that was when the kid hit it to uh, first base and it went, got through. Um, you know, threw a ball into the outfield. Um, just had to calm myself down. You know, finally uh, was able to get out of the inning without um, you know limiting the damage. And then in the eighth, it was just uh, fatigue, and you know, I had to bear down and get get everything going. So, what point in these games do you start to hit that wall where the fatigue starts to uh, step in? Uh, it's funny. Uh, it's not the same time all the time. It's uh, sometimes uh, I feel like I hit a wall. Sometimes I don't. Today I felt like I got a little stronger, right around the fourth, fifth, and sixth, and then I kind of hit a wall towards the middle of the seventh. Um, and that's when I came out in the eighth, and I was kind of kind of tired, but I got the job done. Offense helped you out a lot too. Nice uh, seven-two cushion. Oh uh, yeah, that's always helpful. I'll never complain about that. Um, also, uh, the defense did a really great job today. Um, I think one or two errors, and they shouldn't have been errors. They're just bad hops and stuff like that. So we did a good job all around. All right, Mike Radomski says I should shave my facial hair. What do you think? Um, I don't know. It's kind of new for you. You got a couple patches that you need to work on, but uh, that's your choice, man, not mine. <laughs> Thanks, man. As always. All right, Skip, uh, talk about the performance of your starter, Chris Glor. Well, I, it was outstanding. Uh, you know, we had talked uh, during the course of the week, and uh, Chris uh, has has manned up every single time he's posted uh, every every outing this year, and. Um, I thought he was in command of the game right from the very first pitch in the first inning. Uh, I thought he did an excellent job. I thought he was outstanding. He got his curveball over. He threw his changeup for strikes. And at times, he was just overpowering with his fastball. I talked a little bit to him about what happened in that fifth and the eighth inning, just kind of going to the eighth inning. Hit that, hit that wall that some pitchers just get to. Uh. Yeah, I mean, you know, that can happen. I mean, you know, you could go out and you could have real good stuff. You know, he, he was about 105 pitches, 100 pitches going into the eighth. And, um, you know, he's a battler. He's going to turn around and he'll fight you every tooth and nail, every step of the way. I just knew that in, in the eighth inning he was going to have to be the guy because he had to face two, two left-handers. And he faced the two left-handers. He got those out. And then as soon as he got the, the last guy out in the eighth, he was out. And, of course, we turned it over to the bullpen. Offense and the defense both helped out here. Nice offensive performance with the uh, seven runs. Well, I, I think if you look, we, I think we got a lot of outs with a lot of uh, runs with two outs today. Um, I know we got the last, uh, we got the last two, and then we got the, the fourth with two outs. So, you know, we're we, we've been pretty fortunate to get a two out base hit and get a run in, and, and that's pretty big for us. You bring Duffy in in the ninth. Not a safe situation, but a, a different situation for him as he's usually starting. I think you got to turn it over to your to your veterans. I really do. Uh, you know, the young kid Sinelli was going to be the long guy out today. I had decided that Duffy and Monac were going to be the two. We're going to be the two guys that we're going to close. Both veteran players, guys that have been in the soup and in the fire before. You know, don't turn it over to a young freshman kid. Turn it over to your veterans and see what you're made of. All right. I know you don't like to look too far forward in the future, but after this win, how big is the rest of this uh, series? Not only against a conference foe, but also a geographical foe. I just think it sets the table for everything, you know. I, I just think that a win like this today gets you ready for tomorrow for, uh, to play two games and, you know, gives you that good, hard feeling about yourself that you've got some, you've got some talent and you can do some good things. All right. Thanks, Skip. Thank you. Wow. Wow.